Hello, Yow Table Leaders. We are supportive, kind, present, positive, and fun adults whose purpose is to help Trinity's young people grow into adult members of the Christian community. Uh, welcome to the prep video for the Yow after the lock-in. Thank you so much for your leadership and everything you did for, for the lock-in. You guys had a lot of fun, a lot of fellowship. It worked. I'm hearing that I'm hearing lots of really positive things. It worked really well, and that's thanks to all of you. So, uh, again, welcome to this week's prep video. Uh, this week's theme is what is the Holy Spirit? We're going to start talking about the Holy Spirit part of the Trinity as it's part of our uh, 10 week Apostles' Creed series. Again, we've already talked about God, the Creator, Provider, and Preserver. Uh, last week we finished up talking about Jesus in the Creed, so Jesus the Savior, the Redeemer, and the Lord. This week we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit itself, and we're going to talk about the Church and Saints, forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection and eternal life. So like every week we have a couple questions to help us focus our discussion about, and we're going to have our discussion around, and this week is no different. And just like every week uh, that we've had, uh, your role as a table leader is, is is twofold. One, you know, make sure you're affirming all, you know, well thought out, well intentioned answer. But you affirm maybe not the answer as much as the person who's giving the answer. And then second, which is really the most important, is again we're here to try to help these young people state wh what they believe and then why they believe what they believe. So um, always affirm the person who's giving. Uh, an answer with a good intent and our goal is to help them be able to state what they believe and why they believe that. Our two questions uh, this week are all compound questions and, and, they're, and they're comparison questions. So the first one is we first want to ask the kids uh, what does it mean to say a team has spirit? Or well, there's a thing called team spirit. By team we're talking about a hockey team or a football team or a basketball team, something like that. And then, what does it mean to say that a person has the Holy Spirit, okay? And then have them compare. What are the similarities and differences between Team Spirit and Holy Spirit? The second question is to sort of ask the kids, to sort of introduce this question, ask these kids is, you know, do they believe in ghosts and why or why not? And you can have some fun with this question. And then note that the Holy Spirit is sometimes called the Holy Ghost. And so how is God's spirit like or unlike a ghost? And again, why do they believe? Okay, so after we go through our, our typical housekeeping, um, answering any questions that we have from, from sermon notes, things like that, uh, all the announcements, highs and lows in prayer, and the eighth graders go, um, we will sort of be in our group time. Um, the first thing I'm going to want you guys to do is actually jump into your Bibles. Um, you're going to read through 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 13, and you're going to there's going to be a that section really does a good job of talking about uh, some of the really important things that the Holy Spirit does. Then you're going to talk about the two questions that we just discussed, and last then for the night. Uh, in this in this in this section here, um, they're going to do the catechism encounter in your book. And you're going to complete the, the G section here on the back of your table's Apostles' Creed in your own worksheet. Um, once you do cast and counter, that is this this activity here, and you're just going to write down those 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 items. And you could also make use of Luther's explanation uh, explanation of the third article inside of the small catechism. That will also be really. For our activity, I'm thinking about mixing it up. Uh, I think we're going to get a Kahoot, and so that should be fun for the 6th and 7th graders. Okay, so some uh, news and advice uh, and updates. So as usual, I am going to uh, share and attach a link to uh, the small catechism on the email that I send you as well on this video. The Apostles' Creed starts on page three. Um, if you'd like to catch up and review, check out the third article and particularly Luther's explana explanation of the third article. That would be good preparation. 
Also, we're actually, believe it or not, it's the it's, it's early March, so it's it, it feels like a little ways off, but we're really, you know, like a month and a half away here from confirmation. We don't have a whole lot of time left together here uh, this this year. And we're wrapping up, so um, start seeing some things sort of happening pretty quickly here. Uh, we will start getting uh, these eighth graders scheduled and uh, for their faith statements coming up here. Um, yeah, next month. I'm um, getting ready for the the food scavenger hunt and just sort of wrapping up the year. So um, I'm surprised that it's ending. Uh, it has ended so soon. Uh, it's gone by really fast. Um, I think a lot of the kids have gotten a lot out of it. It's been whatever great thing we've been able to do. Again, I just really believe it's because of the gifts that you brought to this and the blessings that you've given to these young people. So thank you very much. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Take care.